Let's go over types of collisions in the context of conservation of momentum. The conservation of momentum states that in the absence of a net outside force on a system, the total momentum is conserved. For demonstration purposes, we will borrow the simulation from phet.colorado.edu. Here, the momentum of each mass is calculated for you based on mass times velocity. The simulation will also calculate the total kinetic energy of the system for you. You can also use the momentum diagram to see the vector sum of the momentum. As we simulate collisions, of any kind, notice that the total momentum of the system is conserved. The first type of collision is known as elastic collision. Total momentum is conserved and total kinetic energy is conserved. You can confirm this with the simulator by setting elasticity to 100%. Visually, this is how it will look for different masses. The second type of collision, the one more common, is inelastic collision. Total momentum is conserved, but the total kinetic energy changes. The energy lost might be due to inelastic behavior and goes to heat, sound, or other types of energy. We can simulate this by setting elasticity below 100%. Keep an eye on the total kinetic energy of the system calculated for you. Notice that total momentum of the system was still conserved. The final type of collision is known as perfectly inelastic collision. 
momentum is still conserved, kinetic energy changes, but the objects stick together. Their final velocities are the same. When we write out the terms for the conservation of momentum, this simplifies our equation. We can simulate this by setting elasticity to zero. Once again, keep an eye on both the momentum diagram as well as total kinetic energy. But this time, take a note of the final velocities. Keep in mind that because momentum is conserved, the direction of time does not really matter. You can run the movie in reverse. You can start with combined masses traveling at a common velocity that then push off of each other.